Kennedy's player has a chance to win a gold necklace, a large screen television, a 35 millimeter camera, or a trip to Aruba, and continue in towards cash and prizes, including a brand new Toyota Celica and $50,000 in cash. Total over $100,000 up for grabs tonight on sale of the century. And now, here's your host, the star of sale of the century, Brandon Scrum. Hello once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another edition of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us once again on this one. Back here with three more players ready to add to their season total winnings so let's meet them now. Starting with our first player whose season total is up to $282,406. We have Eric. Eric, welcome back sir. Hello Brendan, thank you very much. All right, and our second player today is with season total winnings, $22,248 cash and prizes. We've got Brody. Brody, welcome. Thank you, Brendan. And finally, our third player today, uh, whose season total winnings is $5,000, all in cash. We've got Justin. Justin, welcome in. Thank you. All right, are you all three ready to play some sale? Yep. Yep. And of, course, of course, you know, you got those instant bargains and chance for great prizes along the way. One of you have a chance to make up, go to our winner's big money board at the end of the game for a shot at over $100,000 in cash and prizes. One of you have hopefully take all that money home today. So let's get started by giving everybody 20 bucks in cash. And there's your buzzing keys on the screen. Again, remember, fastest finger first. And remember, um, a chance for instant bargains and whatnot will come up along the way. So let's get started with this first question up for grabs today on Sale of the Century for $5. Players in the famous nursery rhyme, what city's bridge was falling down? That's Brody. London. London is correct. You go to 25. All right. Seal Point, Blue Point, and Siamese are all types of what? Brody. Cats. Cats is correct. You go to 30. What U.S. Olympic figure skater attacked her rival Nancy Kerrigan during a 1990... Eric? Tanya Harding. 1994 practice session is right. Tanya Harding, you go to 25. All right, Prince Caspian, the, magic sniff, the, sorry, the magician's nephew, and the silver chair are all books from what book series? That's Eric. Chronicles of Narnia. That is correct. You go to 30. All right, player, what sport features... Uses such terms as lineouts, scrums, and conversions. That's Justin. Football. No, I'm sorry, it's not football. It's actually rugby. You lose five on that one. It's time for our first instant bargain of the day. Remember, player of the league is a chance to buy bargain price merchandise. Sales surprise with a cash bonus could pop up at any time. Erica Brody, both of you have $30. First person to buzz in when you hear the low sale of the century price gets a chance to buy. This. Ooh, a diamond leaf bracelet. From a, our friends from the Michael C. Fiena Corporation present this beautiful 14 karat diamond leaf bracelet. Normally priced at $1,999, but it's yours today on sale of the century for just $6. A beautiful diamond bracelet worth almost $2,000 in cash. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to throw it out there right now. I will give you, I will give you addition to that diamond brace, additional five hundred bucks in cash. Twenty five hundred dollar deal for the price of six dollars. You buzz it if you like to buy. Going once, and Brody's gonna buy. Yeah. There we go. Well done. Enjoy that bracelet. Enjoy the cash, sir. That's five hundred for you. Takes the six dollars off. Your score goes to twenty four. Still plenty of game left, so you can get it right back. Back with this next. Yeah. Back with this next question for five. Players, what colors make up the national flag of Switzerland? That's Brody. Blue and yellow. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's, it's, actually, not... it's actually red, it. red and white. What we're looking for there. So you lose five. Oh, that was my blue mistake. Blue to Sweden. Yeah, blue and yellow is Sweden. Yeah. Oh, that, that was my mistake. That's all right. Down to nineteen. Players, what Disney character was the first non-human to win an Oscar? And that's Brody. Uh, let's see. Mickey Mouse? That is correct. You got it just at the buzzer. 
You go back to the five right, back up to 24. All right, players, Adolf Eddie Dazzler was the founder of what sportswear equipment company? Ooh, I don't even know this one. And do I. And that's yeah. time. Correct answer. He's the founder of Adidas. He's the founder of Adidas. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right, next okay. one. What S is a deadly sin and a tree-dwelling animal? Okay. Justin. Snake? No, I'm sorry. Snake is one of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> no. Sloth is what we're looking for. Oh. We were looking for oh. we were looking for sloth there, so that's okay. But that bell means it's time for our first fame game question. A chance. This is not for money, but this is for a pick of the fame game board. I got prizes, surprises, and of course those money cards up on the board. Five and ten dollar money cards up there. Are the, with as we're looking for this famous place, this famous place, buzz in when you know it. I'm a U.S. Hmm. state. I became a state in 1816. Former Vice President Dan Quayle called me home. Richard Gatling built his early machine gun here. I have Colts and Hoosiers. The movie Breaking Away took place in my college town. I host a famous motor racing event every year. My Madison County is well known. And that's Eric. Indiana. Indiana is correct. You got it. Of course, Indianapolis being the capital of the state as well. All right, Eric, you got that question and right. To the famous Indianapolis 500. Yep. That's the famous racing event in question. All right, Eric, nine numbers on the board. Which one would you like? Let's try number three. All right, three. Behind number three, we have... Ah, some beautiful recliners. Relaxing your own home with these beautiful recliners valued at $568. Well done. All right, so that goes yours to keep no matter how it happens the rest of the game. We go back to our next questions here for $5. Players, um, what four-letter word beginning with E is a malicious grudging or ill will against someone? And that is time. The correct answer is envy. Envy. Oh, with envy. Yep. Yep. All right, players, what cast, the cast of what U.S. television show had a 2009 hit with their cover of Don't Stop Believing. That's Justin. Journey? No, that was the original band that did it. We're looking for the cast that covered it. It was actually the cast from Glee. Glee's the television show we're looking for uh, there. Oh, So I you lose five, down to $5 on this one. You can get it back, you can get it back on this one. All right. The Atlantic Ocean? Or the Pacific Ocean. The Society Islands can be found in which ocean? That's Brody. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean. No, I'm sorry. It's the Pacific Ocean. You lose five there on that one. All right, players. What is the sum in degrees of the angles of a triangle? That's Brody. Uh, say 90 degrees? No, I'm sorry. That's in a right angle. It's 180 is the full full degrees of a triangle. You add up all three angles, they will always add up to 180 degrees. And quite frankly, I think our scores need to take a 180 degree turn if we're going to try to get somebody to win some prizes today. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, let them cool off for a second. We'll be back with more Sale of the Century right after this. Back on sale this century right here. Time for another instant bargain. Eric, with a $16 lead over Brody, you have a chance to buy this. Ooh, a trip to race car driving school. Learn to, <laughs> learn to drive around those fast tracks like the professional NASCAR drivers as you take a trip to race car driving school with your own personal lessons, your chance to drive around Indianapolis Speedway, and your own custom-made helmet and fire suit, all yours, Normally priced $3,595, today on sale of the century, it's yours for just $10. All right. $10 for this one, Eric, but we're going to take $2 off the price. It's going to cost you half your lead. 
So for eight bucks, get a shot at this instant bargain. Buzz if you want it. Go on once. Go on twice. Yep. Still no sale. No sale. Okay. No sale. Uh -uh. You didn't want to take a shot. Don't look at me crazy. Game Last off. thing I want to do is race car drive around my neighborhood and people think I'm total nutcase and have the cops come after me. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, honey. No worries. All right, you still got the lead. You got thirty dollars. Brody's got fourteen. Justin's got five, and I've got another question here for five dollars. So players, hands on buzzers. Abbott and Costello's "Who's on First Routine" revolves around what sport? That's Eric. Ball. Say that again. Baseball. Baseball is correct. You go up to thirty-five. Burt Lancaster starred in the 1962 movie as the Birdman of where? Is it Albuquerque, Alabama, Atlanta, or Alcatraz? Eric. Alcatraz. Alcatraz is correct. You go to 40. Players, what, what famous monument will you find in the country of Egypt? That's Brody. Uh... Uh, let's see, the Great Pyramid? That is correct. Just at the buzzer, you got it. You go up, back up to 19. Complete the, this quote from former President Bush. Read my lips. No new. That's Eric. Taxes. Taxes is right. You go up to 45. Players, what country star owns a theme park called Dollywood? That's Eric again. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is right. Quick on the buzzer. It goes to 50. Time for the fame game, players. Players, it's now time for our second fame game of the day. We have, we're now at an additional $15 money card on the board as we look for this common thing, this famous common thing. I'm a food item. I can be eaten raw or cooked. I'm long and hard when I'm young. I'm soft and shriveled when I get old. I'm generally thick at one end. And thinner at the other. I grow underground. I'm a cartoon character staple diet. I'm also orange in color. I'm a... That's Justin. Carrot. Carrot is correct. You got it. Got that one correct there, sir. That means you got to pick up the fan game board. Eight numbers left up there with ten, five, ten, and a fifteen dollar money card up there. Number two. We're in number two. What do we have behind number two? Make, 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 make. Oh, it's a brand new mountain bike. Ooh, mountain bike. Get your exercise in. This, is all, this beautiful 21 speed mountain bike accentuates every possible aspect of the racing enthusiast. Retail value $649 for that, Justin. Nice and done. Price, finally. There you go. That's, you get you a nice prize, and you are back in this game. So you got something to take home with you, guaranteed. As we go back to this, <coughs> excuse me, go back to this second question for five. Players, the pupils are found in what part of the body? That's Justin. Eyes. Eyes is correct, and he's back. Guess what? On the plus side yes! there. Yes. Finally. There we go. Back up to ten dollars. Let's see if you can do it again with this one. What would a doctor use to take your temperature? Brody. Ah, a thermometer. Thermometer is right. You go up 5 to 24. All right, players. What rabbit's well known for his phrase, eh, what's up, Doc? And that's Eric. Uh, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny yes. is correct. Oh. Yep. And, of course, we all know Bugs Bunny. Always getting this better of all of his uh, Looney Tunes friends. But did you know, actually, did, did you know that Bugs Bunny, without the ears, only five foot tall. His ears make him uh, tall out to be about six foot four. Go figure, right? All right, Eric, with a big lead, we're going to see if anybody can catch him as we play more Sale of the Century after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Back on sale of the section here. It's now time for the instant cash. Eric, with the lead of $55, you are going to play for today's instant cash prize. Instant cash worth $17,000. Again, the other two boxes have $500 in cash each in each of them. 
uh, for the cost of your lead, which would be $31? $31, you have a chance to pick a box to go for $17,000, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. $31 is what it's going to cost you. I'm going to bump up the bonus cash on the other two boxes. Okay, I can't increase the jackpot. Not yet. But what I can do is instead of making it worth $500 to you, how about guarantee it $2,000 cash for you? $2,000 if you give up a shot for your lead. You can either win $2,000 or $17,000. Going once. Nope. Going twice. Uh-uh. No sale. All right. No. Number one. Mm. You think it's number one? I would say number two. I would have said, uh, see, if I did go for it, I would probably go for number three. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unless it's right. Let's see where the money was. It was number three. It was uh -oh. number three. All right. You could have had 18000 You could have had $17,000, oh. man. That could have been yours. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, Gotta play it smart. <sighs> Gotta play it smart. Sorry. If I sacrifice that lead, yeah. it would tie Brody. Maybe. Who knows? All right. Yeah. Well, me. with that said, uh, we're going to put another $1,000 into the jackpot. We're going to make it worth $18,000 next time. Yeah. And we'll go back to our questions. Eric still got the lead at 55, Brody at 24, Justin at 10, and this next question for five. According to folklore, what does the Sandman help children do? That's Justin. Sleep. Sleep is correct. You got to 15. Yes! What breakfast cereal is great, according to Tony? That's Justin. Frosted Flakes. You are correct. You're back up to the $20 yes. mark. And thank you, then. All right. H2O is an abbreviation for... Uh, Tony? Water. Abbreviation for what liquid? That is right. You are currently drinking that. You go up to 29. I know for the fame game, players. All right, players, time for our third and final fame game of the day. As we had a, we have a 5, a 10, a 15, and now we add a $25 money card to the board as we look for this fictional character, famous fictional character. I'm a cartoon character, first appeared in 1929. I've been played in a movie by Robin Williams. I'm friends with Mr. Wimpy. My girlfriend is thin, and that's Eric. Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man is correct on very limited information. I had that movie with, with the late great Robin Williams. It was a funny movie. I loved it. Yeah, yes. I love that one too. All right. Let's see to have rest in peace, Robin Williams. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. All right, Eric. Uh, four money cards on the board, seven numbers. Which one would you like? Let's try lucky number seven. Lucky number seven behind the seven. We have $15 money card. Boom. Is that? A big lead there up to $70. We're going to see if Brody or Justin can catch him because it's now time for the speed round. May I have 60 Ooh. seconds on the clock, please? Ding. Multiple, as many questions as we can. Clock will not start until I finish reading the first question. You will not be able to buzz in until the clock starts. Good luck to you. As we start the speed round now, in what Disney movie will you find the character Cruella DeVille? Brody. Uh, Under one Dalmatian. Right. But what location did the Wright brothers make their first flight in 1903? Brody. Uh, USA. Wrong. And what name was the fable Hunchback of Notre Dame? Eric. Quasimodo. Right. Now, which of these does the treble clef appear? Dark board, highway sign, shooting music, and fire extinguisher. Justin. She is the thing. Right. Who owned the factory of Road Dolls, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Brody. Willy Wonka. Right. In the 1960s song, It's My Party and I'll Blank If I Want To. Eric. Cry. Right. Which of these is traditionally danced by a Hawaiian woman? Eric. Hula. Right. What type of vehicle were Zeppelins? Justin. Blimps. Right. What is the main vegetable in coleslaw? Brody. Cabbage. Right. What cheese is traditionally taught for pizza over time? Eric, when's the game? I listen mozzarella. Oh, I didn't, but I didn't. 
Congratulations, you are today's winner, sir. Go back to the couple that we did not get to. Uh, of course, uh, the Disney movie Cruella DeVille. Cruella DeVille is in 101 Dalmatians. And the only one that I think you got wrong, uh, did, we, were looking for, we were looking for the state on that one, Brody. Uh, what location uh. the Wright brothers make their first flight in 1903? It was North Carolina. Was what we were looking for. North Carolina is there. Okay. Uh, so I gotta say good. I gotta say goodbye to Brody and Justin on this one. Thank you, gentlemen, for playing. You're both not leaving here empty-handed. Brody, so far you've got twenty-four thousand two hundred forty-seven dollars. We add in everything you've won on your cash in front of you, plus the additional five hundred dollars for the prize you won earlier, brings you up to a nice total of twenty-six thousand seven hundred ninety-seven dollars, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh. And now, Justin, you actually picked up a nice prize too. You got uh, fifty-six forty-nine prizes, with along with the cash in front of you multiplied by fifty. Your season total, you did pretty well today. Got over two thousand dollars of cash and prizes, bringing your season total up to seventy-one forty-nine, sir. Congratulations! All right. And Eric, with your eighty-five dollars, we're gonna take that to the winner's big money board and see if you could take home the lot as we go to our. Big sale of the century round coming up, so stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Back on sale of the century here with our champion Eric. He's now up to two hundred eighty-two thousand nine hundred seventy-four dollars in cash and prizes. And he's ready to go do some shopping, hopefully take home the lot. Come on over here, it's time for the winner. Big money board on the sales section. Right? Yeah. Alright, Eric, take a look. And these are the prizes you have available on today's sale of the century. They are the following. For $80, you can win. An entertainment login in HGTV worth over $7,000. For $190, you can win a folding trailer worth over $8,000. For $200, you can win a brand new home office worth $11,491. For $310, you can win a Dodge Caravan SC worth $21,340. For $420, you win a bulk package worth over $23,000. For $530, you can win a trip to Greece worth over $25,000 for $640. You can go win the cash prize of $50,000. And for $750, you can win all the prizes of the state plus the cash prize for a total of $147,515. Alright, for every $10 you earn in the upfront game, Eric, you know, we'll give you a $1 head start on the money board. You finish with $85, bucks, you get an $8 head start. Got 25 numbers on the board here. Cash amounts ranging from $5 all the way up to $250. You get five picks to try to get to that $750 mark. Take home all the prizes. So when you're ready, sir, start picking. Best of luck to you. Here we go. Okay, let's try number... 21. 21. Blackjack in the corner. What do we have? $20. All right. All right. Let's divide. Uh, let's go number 14. Number 14. Let's see. What do we have? 14. $50. A little better now. Three more picks. All right. All right. All right. Let's try number one. Number one, top of the charts. What do we have behind one? Five dollars. Up to eighty-three dollars. Ew. ew, ew. Let's try number eighteen. Number eighteen. What do we have behind eighteen? Two hundred and fifty dollars. There's a big All one. Right. Okay, that, that helps. That helps. Let's try number hmm, seven. Number seven, what do we have behind seven? Ten dollars. So you finish with three hundred forty-three dollars, which is enough for that Dodge Caravan SE. A very nice price here, but of course, I'm gonna tempt you with one more chance to try to play the game. 
two envelopes at the top of the board. One has that second chance card, one has lose half. If you pick it and find the second chance card, I'll give you two more picks of the board. However, if you find the lose half, you lose half your winnings and you drop it down to $172, I believe. So, the question is yours. You want to stop and take the Dodge Caravan that you already want? A nice car worth over 20, 23000 I believe, in value? Or risk it and try to go on and try to win the lot? I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to risk, try and risk it. Okay. Which envelope would you like? A. A. We've not had a lot of luck with these envelopes lately. I'm hoping it turns around today. What do we have behind envelope A? Oh, not again. We lose half. You dropped to $171, but that's still a nice prize. You're going to get that entertainment wall union. Along with 50 inch HD TV okay. worth $91. Okay. You got $91 left in the bank. We're going to be $100 for every dollar in there. So that's another $9,100 along with the prizes you've won. Gives you a bonus round total of a little over $16,000. Added to your season total winnings, you're now up to $299,322. Just shy of $300,000, sir. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, well, folks, we couldn't give away the for all the prizes today, but maybe we have a little better luck next time here on Sale of the Century. I want to thank you, thanks to my players for playing, and thank you guys at home for watching another fun-filled episode. If you like what you see, click that like button down below. Please don't hesitate to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to see more classic game shows or current ones we have here on the channel, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MVG Productions. Until the instant bargains come your way once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching another episode of Sale of the Century. We will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks. <laughs>